What is your nationality? I'm a drunkard. <laughs> Alcohol might help one forget some of their sorrows, but it can also become the reason for one's downfall. Even though alcohol is poison, drinking problems have never been uncommon when it comes to Hollywood stars. While some of these actors faced health issues, others paid the price with their lives. These are all the Hollywood celebrities who battled with alcoholism. Number 45. William Holden William Holden's journey was marked by a lifelong battle with drinking and alcoholism. By the 1960s, the toll of his years of heavy drinking began to manifest in his appearance, and he found himself losing out on roles to younger actors. In 1981, tragedy struck as Holden's health deteriorated significantly due to his troubles with alcohol. His addiction left him relatively isolated, and he developed a habit of disappearing for days on end. In a devastating turn of events, he was found deceased in his apartment by the building manager, a victim of his own addiction. The scene revealed empty vodka and beer bottles alongside evidence of a struggle, highlighting the tragic consequences of his dependence on alcohol. Holden's life and career were ruined by his struggles with addiction, ultimately culminating in a tragic end. Well, I was shot pretty good at Palm Springs. I ran a baker's field. Number 44, James Dean. James Dean, an iconic figure in American cinema, was a legendary actor whose life was tragically ruined by alcohol and substance abuse. His meteoric rise to fame, characterized by his performances in classic films like Rebel Without a Cause, was shadowed by personal struggles that included alcohol and drug addiction. Dean's promising career and immense talent were overshadowed by his internal battles. Despite his undeniable charm and acting prowess, his life was cut short at the tender age of 24 in a fatal car accident in 1955. Throughout his short but impactful career, Dean grappled with the pressures of Hollywood, a place where he found both fame and turmoil. His performances on screen often masked the tumultuous personal life he led behind the scenes. Reports suggest that Dean struggled with alcohol dependency and substance abuse, seeking solace in these vices amid the demanding environment of show business. His untimely death left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, leaving behind a legacy as an emblematic figure of rebellious youth and an icon whose talent was overshadowed by personal struggles. Number 43. Drew Barrymore Drew Barrymore was introduced to the glittering world of Hollywood at a very young age and encountered a rocky journey that was marked by battles with cocaine addiction and struggles with alcohol. Barrymore's ascent to fame began early in her life, but the pressures of stardom took their toll. By the tender age of 14, she found herself grappling with the demons of addiction, particularly cocaine. Her openness about her challenges with substance abuse, including alcohol, shed light on the gripping nature of addiction in her life. Barrymore candidly acknowledged her struggles, recognizing the overpowering hold that alcohol had on her, admitting it was a constant, unyielding force in her life. Despite these challenges, Drew Barrymore sought recovery and renewal. She acknowledged her weaknesses and the uphill battle against addiction, illustrating the complexities of navigating fame and personal struggles in the unforgiving world of show business. Number 42, Lee Marvin. Lee Marvin is a complex and unique individual renowned for his acting prowess, led an unconventional lifestyle that was deeply influenced by his wartime experiences. Marvin struggled with alcohol addiction, which became a coping mechanism for his inner demons. Hailing from a lineage of historical significance, Marvin's life took a dark turn as he grappled with the aftermath of his wartime trauma. Alcohol became a constant companion, a refuge he turned to in an attempt to navigate his inner struggles. Despite his health deteriorating due to breathing difficulties and steroid treatments, Marvin's addiction to alcohol persisted. Tragically, his life met a grim end in 1987 when he suffered a fatal heart attack at the age of 63. His battles with alcohol, haunting nightmares, and a penchant for provoking fights remained intrinsic elements of his life, leaving behind a legacy marked by talent overshadowed by the shadows of addiction. Number 41, Ava Gardner. Ava Gardner was a Hollywood icon known for her stunning beauty, sharp wit, and fearless independence. Her life was packed with glamorous parties, passionate romances, and a carefree attitude. Alcohol played a big part in her lifestyle, often leading her into exciting and sometimes wild adventures. Gardner was famous for her boldness, 
enjoying drinking contests with Frank Sinatra, her romantic partner at the time. She did some unconventional things, like dancing with gypsies and even getting involved in bullfights. On the set of Night of the Iguana, she refused to film a night scene, leading to a tequila-fueled confrontation with the director. Her spirited nature occasionally got her barred from exclusive places due to her over-the-top behavior. Despite her charm, Gardner faced consequences from her heavy drinking, showcasing the ups and downs of a strong-willed woman whose love for living life to the fullest sometimes came with alcohol-related challenges. Number 40. Leonard Nimoy Leonard Nimoy, who is widely recognized as Mr. Spock from Star Trek, struggled with alcohol addiction during the filming of the iconic series. The intense and demanding nature of the show led him to turn to alcohol as a way to cope with the stress. His co-star William Shatner observed that Nimoy started drinking as a means of dealing with the pressures and disappointments that accompanied his rising fame. Initially, Nimoy's alcohol consumption began as a casual habit, but soon spiraled out of control due to his addictive personality. It wasn't until after Star Trek ended that Nimoy sought help through rehab to overcome his struggles with alcohol. Despite successfully tackling his alcohol addiction, Nimoy faced health issues later in life, ultimately passing away due to smoking-related complications at the age of 83. Number 39. Albert Finney Albert Finney, who was a prominent English actor celebrated for his roles in films like Tom Jones and Murder on the Orient Express, faced a significant challenge in his life due to heavy drinking. He openly admitted to excessive alcohol consumption during lunch breaks, consuming three or four pints of alcohol at a time. For many years, Finney battled alcoholism, finding it fun at the time, but later reflecting on those times with a sense of disbelief. In 1984, a turning point arrived with a diagnosis of kidney cancer. This health scare prompted Finney to make a life-changing decision. He chose to quit drinking. His determination to overcome alcoholism led to his survival from the disease. Post his decision to quit drinking, Finney continued to contribute to the world of cinema until 2012, leaving behind a legacy of a plethora of performances. He passed away in 2019 at the age of 82, having left an indelible mark in the film industry and successfully triumphed over his battle with alcoholism. Number 38. Robin Williams Robin Williams, the beloved comedian and actor, faced a challenging battle with substance abuse throughout his career. Early on, he struggled with both cocaine and alcohol addiction, a pattern that continued even after overcoming cocaine addiction. Despite his success, Williams found it hard to shake off his reliance on alcohol. He openly discussed his struggles with addiction, integrating them into his stand-up routines. His comedic brilliance often touched upon the unpredictable nature of addiction, expressing that it wasn't caused by anything specific but just existed within. In a 2006 interview, Williams shed light on the nature of addiction, expressing how it lingered despite his efforts. He sought rehab multiple times and made sincere attempts to combat alcohol's grip on his life. Sadly, in 2014, reports suggested he had re-entered rehab shortly before his passing, underscoring the enduring struggle he faced with alcoholism until the end. Number 37. Mary Astor Mary Astor, a celebrated American actress known for her roles in movies such as The Maltese Falcon and The Great Lie, faced a hard personal life marked by scandalous divorces and custody battles. Her battle with alcoholism spanned two decades, beginning in the 1930s. Astor was candid about turning to alcohol to cope with stress, loneliness, and insecurity in her life. However, her struggles with alcohol reached a breaking point in 1949 when she attempted suicide and experienced a nervous breakdown. This led her to seek treatment in a sanitarium in Seattle. Her path to recovery was credited to Alcoholics Anonymous and her faith in God. Despite ongoing struggles and challenges, including divorces and alcohol-related issues, she continued to act in movies and on TV shows until the 1960s. Eventually, she transitioned to becoming an author before passing away in 1987 at the age of 81. Number 36. Marilyn Monroe Monroe will always be that one actress that no one will ever forget about. However, despite being one of the most iconic actresses of all time, she had her demons to fight. Throughout her career, she enjoyed everything, including fame, beauty, and even men. But alcohol and drug abuse took everything away. 
Due to her excessive drinking, she fell into paranoia and despair. Monroe soon started feeling the side effects too, as she would often forget lines, and acting became difficult for her. It's believed that this heavy drinking was majorly due to her traumatic childhood. After all, her life is often described as a dark pit of despair, and it's understandable why many think like that. After all, nothing really seemed to work the way she wanted. During the last days of her life, she had become entirely dependent on alcohol and drugs. These same things soon brought her untimely death, and Monroe, who was once an icon, became a memory. Many wonder what would have become of her if she had gotten rid of her addictions. But guess, we'll never know. Number 35. Broderick Crawford Broderick Crawford was known for his role as Chief Matthews in Highway Patrol faced a relentless battle with alcoholism during his career. The demanding schedule of a weekly TV series exacerbated his drinking problem. His habit of alcohol led to multiple arrests and DUIs, earning him the dubious nickname Old 502 due to his habit of driving under the influence. To manage his alcoholism on set, Officer Frank Runyon, a technical advisor for the California Highway Patrol, was tasked with keeping Crawford sober. The production company even had to shoot some scenes on private roads to enable Crawford to drive. However, Crawford's struggle with alcohol ultimately strained relationships both within the show and with the California Highway Patrol, underscoring the destructive impact of his addiction. When marimba rhythm start to play. Number 34, Rita Hayworth. Rita Hayworth, the iconic Hollywood actress, faced a challenging period in the late 1970s when news stories surfaced about her struggles with alcoholism. Reports indicated that she had been taken to Hogue Hospital in Newport Beach, unable to provide consent for treatment due to her condition. During this time, Hayworth was living alone and grappling with alcoholism. A fan and artist from Newport Beach noticed her struggles and befriended her, providing support. However, on one occasion when he briefly left, he returned to find that Hayworth had barricaded herself inside and needed rescue. This incident shed light on the depth of her struggle with alcohol. Number 33. Sterling Hayden Sterling Hayden, known for his life as both an actor and a seafarer, was undoubtedly an interesting individual. He expressed disdain for his acting career felt shame for naming names before the House Un-American Activities Committee in the 1950s and took great pride in his seafaring accomplishments. However, Hayden also dealt with severe alcoholism, a significant aspect of his life during the filming of a documentary. He engaged in extended rambling conversations with the filmmakers while consuming copious amounts of wine and hashish. This relentless drinking led to meandering and often incoherent dialogues, extending discussions beyond their natural conclusions. The filmmakers never dared to call cut, observing his unpredictable and intoxicated behavior, displaying an almost nonchalant attitude toward their subject. Number 32. John Wayne John Wayne, the iconic actor celebrated for his cowboy roles and larger-than-life presence on screen, had a hidden struggle with alcohol. While he was celebrated as a professional on set, his reputation as a mean drunk was well known among those in the industry. Despite his success, Wayne's penchant for alcohol led to erratic behavior and a preference for morning shoots. He insisted on completing scenes before noon because by the afternoon, alcohol would turn him into a hostile and difficult collaborator. Wayne's alcoholism was rooted in a time when drinking habits were different, and he often indulged without considering hydration or its effects on his health. This lifestyle choice impacted his ability to work regularly and maintain a fresh and early start on set, setting him apart from his co-stars. Number 31, Anne Margaret. Anne Margaret, who was known as one of the original sex kittens in Hollywood, faced struggles with alcoholism amid other challenges in her life. Despite her youthful presence on screen, her off-screen life was marked by a love for partying and fun. Her affair with Elvis Presley during the filming of Viva Las Vegas contributed to her descent into full-blown alcoholism. Her drinking began as a means to cope with anxiety about nude scenes during the filming of RPM. By 1971, her drinking had spiraled out of control. 
affecting her ability to distinguish reality from fantasy. Anne Margaret eventually conquered her addiction in 1980 and candidly discussed her journey to recovery in her autobiography. And, and, and don't take him seriously, the way they don't take beautiful girls seriously. Number 30, Orson Welles. Orson Welles, a renowned filmmaker and actor, had a well-documented history of alcoholism. His love for Negroni, a cocktail of gin and vermouth, was famous. Wells' relationship with alcohol began due to a troubled family background, particularly his father's alcoholism, which led to their estrangement. Wells' endorsement of Negroni while working in Rome helped popularize the cocktail in the U.S. His excessive drinking contributed to his weight gain, and he reached nearly 400 pounds. His drinking habits affected his behavior on set, where he would often consume alcohol between takes. Despite his alcoholism, Wells left an indelible mark on cinema with his innovative filmmaking techniques and his iconic works such as Citizen Kane. Number 29, Barbara Payton. Barbara Payton, a promising Hollywood actress during the 1940s and 1950s, experienced a life and career in turmoil due to alcoholism. Despite initial success and collaborations with renowned actors, Payton's personal life was marked by tumult. Her life saw numerous affairs, violent relationships, and legal issues, including shoplifting and prostitution. Alcohol became her escape from the chaos, leading to her worsening addiction. By the 1960s, losing custody of her son intensified her struggles, leading to public drunkenness and disorderly conduct charges. Tragically, Peyton passed away at the age of 39 due to heart and liver disease. Her life was marred by the destructive impact of alcohol. Number 28, Ethel Barrymore. Ethel Barrymore, a prominent figure in the legendary Barrymore family, faced her own struggles with alcohol from an early age. Despite her immense talent on both stage and screen, she turned to alcohol as a means of coping with personal troubles. Similar to her brother John Barrymore, Ethel's drinking became consuming and threatened her career and well-being. However, she managed to break free from alcohol's grip in her 30s and became a teetotaler. Recognizing the destructive impact it had on her family, Ethel Barrymore's career spanned six decades, marking a significant triumph over her drinking problem. Number 27, Tallulah Bankhead. Tallulah Bankhead, the actress known for her vivacious personality and unconventional lifestyle, was infamous for mixing alcohol with cocaine and various other drugs. She frequented the Algonquin Hotel and often socialized with hard-drinking socialites and members of the Algonquin Roundtable. Her partying lifestyle and indulgence in substances took a toll on her health and appearance. Bankhead's relentless consumption included a variety of substances, from whiskey and poppers to horse tranquilizers and a special cocktail of Coca-Cola and spirits of ammonia. Her later years were marked by excessive bourbon consumption, various pills, and cocaine. Her addiction was a prominent aspect of her life and, tragically, her last recorded words were codeine and bourbon, underscoring the extent of her addiction. Number 26, Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor, celebrated for her beauty and acting prowess, struggled with alcoholism and painkiller addiction for many years. Her openness about her addiction helped destigmatize the topic. In 1983, she became the first celebrity to admit herself to the Betty Ford Center, founded by former First Lady Betty Ford, who also battled addiction. Taylor's decision to seek treatment had a profound impact, inspiring countless individuals to confront their own addictions. Her journey toward recovery allowed her to redirect her energy toward raising awareness about AIDS, making a significant contribution to the cause. Number 25, Paul Lind. Paul Lind, famous for his comedic genius and unforgettable performances, battled personal demons linked to alcohol. Despite his success, he dealt with a drinking problem that took him to underground gay bars in Hollywood. Unfortunately, his excessive drinking often landed him in trouble. His intoxication resulted in being ejected from bars and even led to drunken altercations with law enforcement. Sadly, this struggle with alcohol significantly affected Lynn's career and reputation, contributing to a decline in his professional standing. Ultimately, his ongoing battle with alcohol took a toll on his health. The damage to his heart caused by alcohol abuse led to his untimely passing at the age of 55. This internal strife not only impacted his personal life, but also marked a downturn in his once flourishing career. 
Number 24. Humphrey Bogart Humphrey Bogart, who is widely regarded as one of the greatest actors in American cinema history, had a notorious reputation for his drinking habits. Despite his acclaimed career and iconic roles, Bogart's excessive drinking led to erratic behavior both on and off the set. His love for alcohol often resulted in being drunk or hungover during filming, affecting his professionalism. Bogart's behavior ranged from riding a bicycle around the studio in pajamas to bizarre incidents like attempting to take a safe from a restaurant. His struggles with alcohol intensified over the years and contributed to health issues that ultimately led to his death in 1957. Number 23. Richard Burton Richard Burton is celebrated for his acting career and rocky relationship with Elizabeth Taylor, who battled alcoholism throughout his life. His relationship with alcohol reportedly began at a very young age, around 12 years old, and his addiction persisted until his death. During the peak of his alcoholism in the 1970s, Burton was consuming an astonishing two to three bottles of vodka daily. Despite his remarkable talent and reputation as an actor, his excessive drinking often affected his work. Burton's iconic role as a hard-drinking college professor in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf earned him an Oscar nomination. However, his alcoholism continued to take a toll on his health, and he struggled with balance issues while filming The Klansman in 1974. Later in life, amid a bitter divorce from Elizabeth Taylor, Burton checked into rehab to address his alcoholism. Unfortunately, the damage had already been done, and he passed away in 1984 at the age of 58, suffering from cirrhosis of the liver and kidney disease. Number 22, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra, the legendary singer and actor, was known for his fondness for alcohol, particularly Jack Daniels whiskey. He was rumored to have consumed an entire bottle of Jack Daniels by himself daily. Sinatra's signature drink included four ice cubes, two fingers of Jack Daniels, and a splash of water. While Sinatra was celebrated as a professional on set, his reputation as a mean drunk was well known among those in the industry. His behavior could turn aggressive when he was drunk, and he had a reputation for picking fights. In certain situations, such as when consuming gin, Sinatra became aggressive. He was part of the American Olympic drinking team, a group of his friends and fellow celebrities known for their love of alcohol. Sinatra passed away in 1998 at the age of 82 and was reportedly buried with a bottle of Jack Daniels in his casket. Number 21. John Barrymore John Barrymore, a renowned actor from the early 1900s and a member of the famous Barrymore family, grappled with alcoholism from a young age. His drinking problem worsened over time, and by the 1930s, Barrymore's reputation had declined, leading to his being blacklisted by several major studios. Despite early acclaim for Shakespearean performances, Mr. Hyde and Sherlock Holmes, alcoholism increasingly consumed Barrymore. He relied on cue cards to complete his roles due to the effects of alcohol on his memory, and his hands shook uncontrollably. In 1942, at the age of 60, Barrymore passed away, suffering from cirrhosis, kidney disease, and chronic edema, influenced by his excessive drinking and its severe toll on his health. Number 20. Richard Harris Richard Harris, an actor born in Ireland, was known for his excessive alcohol consumption from an early age. His relationship with alcohol began with reckless incidents, such as crashing his father's delivery truck after a few pints at the pub when he was a teenager. Despite his acting successes, both on the London stage and in Hollywood, Harris's drinking habits were quite extreme. He reportedly consumed up to two to three bottles of vodka per day and was a regular in London's drunk tank. Harris's erratic behavior ranged from manic joy to black rages, impacting his personal and professional life. He passed away in 2002, and his excessive drinking contributed to various health problems throughout his life. You've smashed up hotel rooms, you've shot somebody through the hat. No, that was Keith Moon. <laughs> God bless him. Number 19, Oliver Reed. Oliver Reed, who was a prominent English actor during the late 1960s and early 1970s, was notorious for his excessive drinking and unruly behavior. His off-screen life was marked by his heavy alcohol consumption, leading to various notorious incidents. Reed was known for his remarkable roles in films such as The Trap, Oliver and the Three Musketeers. 
However, his drinking habits were legendary, including consuming up to 20 pints of lager with a chaser of gin or creme de menthe in a single sitting. His drunken antics varied from pretending to play rugby with a baby during a christening to exposing himself in public. Reed's career was overshadowed by tales of his drunken antics. Sadly, he suffered a fatal heart attack in 1999 while filming Gladiator, leaving a legacy of incredible acting and notorious drinking habits. Number 18. Errol Flynn Errol Flynn, who is famous for playing heroic roles in movies like Robin Hood and Captain Blood, had a life filled with wild behavior and heavy drinking. Flynn was known for being a strong, manly figure, but he also loved alcohol. He had a habit of injecting vodka into oranges and munching on them all day to stay drunk while hiding the smell of alcohol. Apart from this strange habit, he always had bottles of vodka nearby, even during movie shoots. Flynn's life was full of wild parties, chasing after women using drugs and getting into fights. Even though his excessive lifestyle affected his health, he didn't stop drinking too much. Unfortunately, he died at the age of 50 because of a heart attack. He left behind a legacy of being a great actor and a person who was famous for his wild ways of living. Number 17, W.C. Fields. W.C. Fields, the iconic comedian known for his wit and humor, had a legendary reputation for his love of alcohol. His humorous quips about drinking, such as his famous line, I never drink water, I'm afraid it will become habit-forming, have become legendary. Fields thought he was disciplined in his drinking habits, humorously remarking that he never imbibed while sleeping and only drank nothing stronger than gin before breakfast. Born during the era of Prohibition, he stockpiled thousands of bottles of whiskey and gin in his attic during that time. Even after Prohibition ended, Fields continued to maintain a substantial stash of emergency alcohol at home, just in case. He once explained to Harpo Marx, Never can be sure Prohibition won't be back, my boy. One of the classic stories about W.C. Fields and his drinking habits involves his time on set. He was known to carry a vacuum flask filled with dry martinis, which he humorously referred to as his lemonade, or in some versions of the story, his pineapple juice. However, on one occasion, a practical joker decided to switch the contents of his flask with real lemonade, leading to Fields' furious exclamation, Who put lemonade in my lemonade? Aren't you a little confused? Number 16, Judy Garland. Judy Garland celebrated as one of the finest actresses of her time and best known for her iconic role as Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, faced a hard life that included struggles with drug addiction and ultimately led to her untimely death at the age of 47. Garland's upbringing was far from easy. Her parents had a troubled relationship and her father in particular provided more emotional support than her mother. However, Tragedy struck in 1935 when her father died unexpectedly from meningitis. The loss of her father strained Garland's relationship with her mother even further. Reports suggest that Garland's mother started giving her pills when she was only 10 years old. By her late teens, she had become dependent on these pills. Despite signing a contract with MGM to advance her career, the lack of support at home led Garland down the path of drug addiction. During the filming of The Wizard of Oz at the age of 17, she resorted to taking various diet, energy, and sleeping pills to manage her weight and cope with her demanding schedule. As her career continued to flourish, so did her addiction. Garland's dependency on drugs and unstable upbringing took a heavy toll on her. She went on to be married five times with her fifth husband, Mickey Deans, discovering her lifeless body when he found her bathroom door locked and received no response. Garland's struggles with drug addiction were well documented, and her death ruled a suicide caused by an overdose, marking a tragic end to a remarkable career in life. Number 15, Peter O'Toole. Peter O'Toole, the legendary actor known for his brilliant performances and piercing blue eyes, had a reputation as one of Hollywood's prominent alcoholics. Despite his charming appearance and amazing roles in films like Troy and Lawrence of Arabia, O'Toole was not immune to the allure of alcohol. He once quipped that his generation simply drank, whether they had commitments for the day or not. O'Toole even claimed that alcohol enhanced his performances on the big screen. An iconic story from his career involves his role in Lawrence of Arabia, where he and co-star Omar Sharif were reportedly both afraid of camels. 
To overcome their fears, they decided to be completely drunk for the entire camel riding scene. O'Toole later laughed at the memory, admitting that he didn't remember the scene at all. While O'Toole received eight Academy Award nominations and earned acclaim for his roles in classic films, his personal life was marked by his struggle with alcohol. He indulged in wild drinking sprees during the filming of Lawrence of Arabia in Beirut, Lebanon, and was reportedly drunk throughout the production of the 1964 film, Beckett. O'Toole's excessive drinking and partying took a toll on his health. He eventually gave up drinking after experiencing abdominal pain and warnings about the impact of alcohol on his well-being. However, the years of excessive consumption had already left their mark. In his later years, his once handsome appearance had notably withered, and he passed away in 2013 in a London hospital, having suffered from the effects of drinking and chain smoking. Number 14. Robert Mitchum Robert Mitchum, a legendary actor, faced a notorious incident that shed light on his struggles with alcohol addiction. During the filming of His Kind of Woman, he initiated a brawl with stuntmen while intoxicated, turning a staged fight scene into a real altercation. Mitchum was known for his off-screen antics and faced arrest after becoming a target of a police sting operation aimed at Hollywood stars who partied excessively. His likeness for heavy drinking was well known, often leading to unpredictable behavior and hotel room destruction, which further complicated his relationship with alcohol. Number 13. Spencer Tracy Spencer Tracy, who is a highly respected Hollywood actor known for his exceptional acting abilities, faced a tough and complicated battle with alcohol addiction. His reputation for getting into fights and causing trouble when he drank became widely known among those in the industry, sometimes overshadowing his remarkable talent. Tracy's issues with alcohol became increasingly serious over time. At one point, the studio he was working with confronted him about his drinking, giving him an ultimatum to either quit drinking or risk losing his acting job. Despite these warnings and attempts to control his drinking, Tracy's relationship with alcohol remained unpredictable. What made Tracy's situation challenging was the way he swung between periods where he didn't drink at all and moments where he binged heavily. He struggled with a turbulent connection to alcohol, going back and forth between times when he didn't drink and times when he drank excessively. Tracy also avoided flying, choosing instead to take long train rides where he'd have alcohol with him, which only made his battle with addiction more difficult. Montgomery Clift, a talented and methodical actor of his time, grappled with alcohol addiction throughout his life. He faced several personal challenges, including being a closeted gay man during an era when homosexuality carried significant stigma. Clift used alcohol as a means to cope with his struggles with depression, loneliness, and the pressures of the film industry. His alcoholism led to a devastating car accident that caused severe damage to his once handsome face. Despite this, Clift continued working in the industry, though his addiction made him unreliable on set at times. During the filming of The Misfits, his drinking led to erratic behavior that prompted fellow actress Marilyn Monroe to acknowledge their shared struggles. Tragically, Cliff's addiction contributed to his early death at the age of 45. Heart problems exacerbated by years of substance abuse ultimately led to his untimely passing, marking the tragic outcome of his ongoing battle with alcoholism. Number 11. Gail Russell Gail Russell, a talented actress, reluctantly entered the Hollywood spotlight. Despite her initial lack of training or visible talent, her striking appearance propelled her to fame. However, the pressures of stardom led to her reliance on alcohol. Her troubled marriage, combined with rumors of romantic involvement with co-stars, worsened her alcoholism. In 1953, she sought treatment in a sanitarium in Seattle. Despite efforts to overcome her addiction, her life remained tumultuous, marked by divorces and ongoing struggles with alcohol, which ultimately contributed to her premature death at a young age. Number 10. John Hamm John Hamm, renowned for his portrayal of the enigmatic Don Draper in the TV series Mad Men, has revealed a stark contrast between himself and his iconic character. However, one shared aspect between Hamm and Draper is their fondness for alcohol. Hamm attributes his recovery from a serious drinking problem to therapy. Despite not entirely identifying with Draper's character, he acknowledged that living in the headspace of someone like Draper for an extended period was challenging. 
personal experiences, including his parents' divorce and subsequent deaths, contributed to the emotional struggles Ham faced. He admitted to using his liver as a scapegoat to cope with career fears, acknowledging a dark phase in his life similar to Draper's descent. As Draper's character faced a downward spiral, Ham recognized his own parallel trajectory and sought help. He checked into rehab just before the premiere of the final season of Mad Men. Subsequently, Ham shifted away from bleak roles, gravitating toward lighter projects such as comedic appearances in shows like Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, the Netflix series Wet Hot American Summer, and the action film Baby Driver. This redirection in roles reflects his commitment to a healthier lifestyle post-recovery, but at one point, his life was all over the place. Number 9. David Hasselhoff in the 1980s and early 1990s, David Hasselhoff, affectionately known as The Hoff, gained worldwide fame for his roles, particularly in shows like Knight Rider, where he starred alongside a talking car and the iconic Baywatch. His celebrity status led to a lifestyle filled with parties and celebrations. However, when Baywatch concluded in 2001, Hasselhoff's relationship with alcohol took a different turn. He admitted that his drinking habits changed significantly as his career trajectory shifted. With the end of Baywatch, Hasselhoff found himself transitioning from being a box office sensation to facing a decline in popularity. This shift took a toll on his mental state, leading him to turn to alcohol as a means of coping with his sadness. Hasselhoff's struggle with alcohol extended for more than a decade and included multiple visits to the emergency room due to alcohol-related issues. A particularly distressing incident occurred in 2007 when a video recorded by his then 16-year-old daughter showed him in an inebriated state lying on the floor, shirt unbuttoned, and eating a hamburger. This moment of public humiliation became a turning point for Hasselhoff. It prompted him to seek help and return to rehab. Subsequently, he initiated a comeback, notably in 2015, with the semi-autobiographical stage musical titled Last Night, A DJ Saved My Life. This comeback marked a pivotal moment in his career, signaling a fresh start for him. Currently, Hasselhoff is back in the limelight, embracing his iconic persona as the Hoff. He has appeared in various films, such as Guardians of the Galaxy and the reboot of Baywatch, showcasing a resurgence in his career after overcoming his struggles with alcohol. Number 8. Alec Baldwin In 1985, Alec Baldwin, then 27 years old and already a regular on the popular TV show Knott's Landing, faced a distressing struggle with substance and alcohol abuse. His addiction led him down a troubling path, marked by behaviors like driving around with cups filled with wine and ending drinking binges with extended sessions playing Galaga at a local arcade. Baldwin later expressed that this period of his life was fraught with significant pain. The turning point came when the operator of the arcade, named Julian, made a stark comment to Baldwin upon finding him waiting outside the arcade before it opened. Julian's words, I'm glad I'm not you, struck a chord with Baldwin and served as a catalyst for his journey toward recovery. Following the successful completion of rehab, Baldwin's career flourished. He emerged as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, becoming a beloved heartthrob in the 90s and later winning acclaim for his role as the charmingly deluded Jack Donaghy on the acclaimed series 30 Rock. His portrayal of Jack Donaghy earned him numerous accolades, including two Emmys, three Golden Globes, and seven SAG Awards. However, Baldwin's path to sobriety also meant that he was completely sober when he left a highly publicized and regrettable voicemail for his daughter in 2007, which caused significant controversy and embarrassment for him. Number 7. Ben Affleck Ben Affleck, once a highly sought-after leading figure in Hollywood, harbored a hidden struggle that not only shattered his marriage, but also posed a severe threat to his career. Despite growing up witnessing his father's battles with alcoholism, Affleck took a while to confront his own issues with alcohol. It wasn't until 1997, after winning an Oscar for co-writing the screenplay for Good Will Hunting, that he first acknowledged his personal struggle with the disease. By 2001, Affleck's alcoholism had escalated to a concerning point, prompting actor Charlie Sheen to intervene and drive him to rehab. While starting a family with Jennifer Garner initially seemed to offer a semblance of stability, it couldn't provide a lasting solution. 
Their divorce in 2015 occurred amid rumors of Affleck's binge drinking and allegations of infidelity. During this period, Affleck relied on sober companions to help him maintain his sobriety while traveling. However, in January 2017, he stepped down as the director of The Batman, acknowledging his inability to juggle both directing and acting roles simultaneously. He said, It has become clear that I cannot do both jobs to the level they require. In March of the same year, he returned to rehab, marking another effort to confront his ongoing struggles with sobriety. Despite his ongoing battle with alcoholism, Affleck continues to pursue his acting career. His next appearance as Batman is slated for November's Justice League. This goes to show how alcohol can become such a big problem for people who are doing well in their careers. Number 6. Zac Efron Zac Efron gained fame through High School Musical in 2006, but the pressures of success led him to alcohol as a coping mechanism. He struggled to find fulfillment, and his lowest point didn't occur during intense roles like The Paperboy, despite an uncomfortable scene with Nicole Kidman. In 2014, a harrowing encounter with a homeless man in downtown Los Angeles resulted in him being punched, marking one of his scariest moments. This event followed a heroin overdose and subsequent rehab in 2013, which he considered a major wake-up call. Despite these challenges, Efron made a comeback with the success of Neighbors and has remained a sought-after actor. He now manages stress through regular exercise, which is now evident in his notably fit physique. Staying healthy has become a priority for him, showcasing his commitment to a positive lifestyle. Number 5. Mel Gibson For many years, Mel Gibson was a highly sought-after leading actor in Hollywood. He found success with hits like the Lethal Weapon series and Braveheart, which he directed as well. However, he struggled with heavy drinking. In 2006, following a DUI incident where he was significantly intoxicated, he made anti-Semitic remarks to the arresting officer. This event marked a low point in his life. His downward spiral continued as he left his wife of nearly three decades, with whom he had seven children, for Oksana Grigorieva, a younger model. Amidst this turmoil, Gibson faced legal issues, pleading guilty to battery after Grigorieva recorded him making threats and racial slurs. Hollywood distanced itself from Gibson due to these controversies. He faced a 10-year absence from major projects until his return in 2016 with the movie Hacksaw Ridge, which he directed. The Bubby Boy 2 epic was a commercial success, earning $158 million at the box office and receiving six Oscar nominations. Although Gibson doesn't discuss his recovery much, he has mentioned working on personal growth steps. Colleagues like Jodie Foster, Robert Downey Jr., and Andrew Garfield have voiced their support. Currently, Gibson is working on a sequel to Passion of the Christ. Number 4. Ewan McGregor Reflecting on his early success in the 1996 film Train Spotting, Ewan McGregor acknowledged a dual existence, a time of being both a maniac on booze and achieving fame. He recalls this phase as a high point while acknowledging it was also marked by massive debauchery. McGregor surpassed even the Britpop elite in partying, but admitted it led to a spiral of depression and shame. His drinking habits affected his work, often arriving on set inebriated and sneaking drinks between scenes, limiting his ability to explore different approaches to a scene. His epiphany arrived after an embarrassing encounter with Iggy Pop, an idol of his, which he considers one of his life's most humiliating moments. This incident served as a wake-up call. At 29 and 2000, McGregor abruptly quit drinking and has since embraced life without regrets. He's kept himself extensively occupied, showcasing his versatility in roles like Beginners in Season 3 of Fargo. Number 3. Brad Pitt In a candid interview in May 2017, Brad Pitt, who had been sober for 18 months, openly discussed his prolonged struggle with substance abuse. He admitted to a continuous pattern of drinking or using substances since his college days. Although he had halted everything except drinking when he started a family with Angelina Jolie, alcohol continued to impact him negatively. But even then, drinking was causing problems. The situation hit a boiling point during a flight in 2016 when Pitt had a disagreement with Jolie that involved their son, Maddox. There were different stories about whether Pitt had hurt Maddox, which led to an FBI investigation that was later dropped. 
Pitt admitted that he was using alcohol to hide his feelings and dodge dealing with his personal problems. This incident made him reevaluate his life. Although he's taken a step back from work to focus on sorting out these issues, Pitt intends to get back to acting. This interview shows how he has been trying to work on himself beyond his career. Number two, Bernard Lee. Lee enjoyed a lengthy and successful career spanning 50 years, appearing in over 100 films and TV shows. He began acting at a young age, making a name for himself on stage and later achieving fame in movies. One of his most famous roles was as M, the head of the British Secret Service in numerous James Bond films. However, Lee faced personal struggles, including the tragic death of his wife in a house fire, a violent mugging, and financial difficulties that led him to depression and heavy drinking. Reports suggest that during breaks from filming, measures were taken to prevent him from accessing alcohol, but he managed to find a way around these restrictions. There are stories of his drinking capacity surpassing even that of famous heavy drinkers like Richard Burton. Unfortunately, Lee's excessive alcohol consumption likely contributed to his death from stomach cancer at the age of 73. Number 1. Dennis Price Hailing from a well-to-do family and possessing both charm and good looks, this British actor seemed destined for success. He rose to fame as a matinee idol on stage and later gained acclaim for his role in the highly regarded comedy Kind Hearts and Coronets in 1949. Alongside notable actors like Alec Guinness and James Mason, he appeared set for international recognition. However, personal turmoil, including the strain of a failing marriage and concealed homosexuality, took a toll. In 1954, he attempted suicide by turning on the gas oven while wearing his best suit. Fortunately, a cleaner intervened in time, saving him. Yet this incident marked the beginning of a slower descent marked by heavy alcohol use. Despite his appearances in popular British comedies and military dramas, colleagues noted his troubling drinking habits. Reports circulated that he'd begin his day with a crate of Guinness, consuming it alongside plenty of scotch until day's end. He was often described as intoxicated by those around him. He'd regularly arrive at the studio carrying alcohol in a shopping bag, and on one occasion he stumbled onto the stage during a play's first act while performing the final scene. As his life progressed, his once polished demeanor and attractive appearance deteriorated due to his dependency on alcohol. Predictably, he passed away from liver cirrhosis, a tragic outcome reflecting his long battle with addiction.